Hey guys, it's Persia. Okay, so, um, I look disgusting in that picture that they posted on, of me. I really have nothing to say about that, because really and truly, like, I was gonna say I don't look like that in real life, but I guess I do. I don't know. But, yeah, I guess the camera adds on ugly, like, <laughs> anyways. Um, what was I gonna say? Anyway, so, I'm sure everyone saw the Lakeshore stuff. I'm sure that everyone noticed that there's no, um, natives, there's no African Canadians, there are no French Canadians, which honestly, I don't even know why the French Canadians aren't saying anything, because I think that and the natives should have been, like, the first two, like, anyways, not my business, but, yeah, using racism to, to capitalize, I don't know, like, I, I think that's really, really the lowest you could probably go when you're dealing with something like that. And I'm going to hand it to Lake Shore. You guys had a pretty okay idea from the jump. But when you get greedy, see, this is what happens. And at this point, even if, let's just say, shit were to hit the fan, everyone was going to complain and you guys weren't going to get a network or all that, which I doubt because, you know, people are fucked up. They, they enjoy promoting messed up stuff. But... You have tarnished the image of Canadians single-handedly at this point. Like, do you understand that right now in popular culture, Lakeshore has literally taken a shit on Canada? Like, how do you fucking sleep at night knowing that you have just made us? At least we look really decent to all of the rest of the world, because we are. Realistically, honestly, I've been to the States, no disrespect to the States, but I am, it scares me. Like, you guys are just so aggressive and mean. So at least... Some places, let me put it that way. It would be politically correct. But Canadians, we were known to be multicultural, diverse, to be, you know, such liberal people. And for you guys to do something like that and then let the whole fucking world of pop culture in on it, it's done. Like, it's tarnished. It's over. Even if you don't get a network and all this shit goes away, they will always think of us like that. So now, not only do they think we live in igloos, they think we live in igloos and we're anti-Semitic and we're racist and... All we want to do is just be loud and just, like, really? That's how little respect you have <laughs> for our nation? True. Anyway, so kudos to you guys for starting your little uh, racist shit. And I'm, I'm so prepared for the hate messages I'm going to get, especially after those articles. And you know what? In all honesty, I don't even know. I, like, I, I'm kind of appalled that, you know... Such claims could be denied, but... Denied? Is that the word? No. Yeah, is it? Denied? I don't give a fuck. Point being, like, okay, buddy. I'm sure that, you know, all of these people... So basically, basically what Lakeshore is saying is that their cast is just like this on their own. And these are the way these people live. Which, if, if that's the case, then ladies and gentlemen, this is the first and only time you'll hear me say something messed up like this. Then Lakeshore's cast is the reason why certain people should be wearing condoms. Because if you are bringing children into this world that you are fucking raising like this to be on national television talking about I hate Jews, da 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 da, this is what I do. And you know what? I'm going to say this shout out to a couple of people on the show still. Not all of you are that messed up. But point being, pretty crappy idea. Pretty, pretty low to want to capitalize on all this shit. And I mean, fuck. Everyone wants to make their money. I understand the hustle never dies. But that's like selling crack to the kid. So I don't know. I don't know how you sleep at night. But shout out to everyone that's been supportive. I wasn't even trying to go and tell the media shit. To be honest, I really wasn't trying to diss up no one. But... You pissed me off, and being the person that I am, the outspoken person that I am, I don't, I don't like being, you know, offended like that. So I'm here to set the record straight to, you guys can look at the kind of person I am, and let Canada decide as to what really is popping with this whole situation. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. So shout out to Vani the Ken doll for ever fly himself, and. By the .com, check it out. And by the way, media, you guys are like two weeks late because we leaked that video like, what, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. So, yeah. That's it.
God. I don't even know what to say about that picture. But you know what? Honestly, I am getting share my phone's vibrator. I gotta go. Watch. It's gonna probably be... Alright, yo. I'm out. <laughs> Too much private Persia time. But, um... Check out our new shit, yo. Fuck this Lakeshore bullshit. I'm done. Done with Lakeshore. I prove to you guys that you guys are a bunch of fucking psychotic people. I do not know why you would even want to do something like this. But go ahead. Ruin, you know, different cultures friggin' representations and whatever. You're the Antichrist. But, um, do you say? It's Persia. Signing out. This is the end. Over. No more lecture or shit. I refuse to speak about it. I'm saying this again because I'm honestly so sick and tired of having to, like, you know, regurgitate facts. So, it's Persia. Signing out. Oh, bye-bye.